Hello everybody and welcome to another guide and tutorial for the Golden Shot difficulty level is medium and I will go through Santa Ventura for you like I've done many many times but it's important to go through because it is a very good chance to get some kingmakers and also some good cards. I want to uh, apologize already for my voice. I will most likely be coughing a little bit here in this video and I hope you have respect for that. <clears throat> So, uh, before we take a look at all the content, make sure to uh, hit the like button, the thumb, a, a thumbs up, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. For those of you that do want to try out the best guys on the market, can do so now with our free trial being open and active. So, signing up any day between the 19th and uh, the early days of the 23rd, so at the beginning of uh, Thursday, you will get access to our tournament guides for free, the ultimate tournament text guide. So you can try it out and see for yourself if it is something for you. I can say for certainty that I know that it is something for most people because it will uh, allow you to uh, practice less and you will be even more competitive than what you have been before. I believe that having a guide is actually saving money. Uh, when it comes to playing in a gold clash. So try out our free trial, scan the QR code here on the screen, or use the link in the description down below. That will take you to our Patreon page, and then you can select the package you like. It's all the packages that includes tournament, besides the ones that you have tour guides in it as well. <coughs> all right, Santa Ventura, hole number two. I played this one so many times, so many times before. So, we do have the Onyx chest, that's all in one, Fire chest, that's the Yellow Ring, Scarlet chest, that's the Red Ring, Topaz chest, that's the Light Blue Ring, and Nature chest, that's the Dark Blue Ring. Press the question mark on the top right to get to the frequently asked questions about the Golden Shot. If you do have any more questions, you can find it here as well, but also you can send in a ticket to the Gold Clash support. The landing position that we're going to use is this one. We are going to use the bottom of the yellow ring to be where the fringe meets the fairway and then the tip of the ball guideline to point towards the hole. Have in mind that it's important that you set up before you add spin, otherwise you will find the wrong position. So find the position before spin and you're looking at the yellow ring and also the tip of the ball guideline. So let's have a look at the videos. We're going to start with video number one. And he were at three miles per hour, left to right, uh, crosswind and tailwind. We set it up with the aim point already described, and we're applying spins. Three miles per hour is going to be two rings. And as always, even though it's very few rings to adjust, we're going to pull over the bullseye. So we do pull over the bullseye, and we sent the ball to it perfect. There we go. We bounce on the fringe, up towards the pin, and we are falling short in line, which is honestly extremely frustrating. That's probably the worst way to miss, in my opinion, because we are not even giving it a proper chance. All right, so we get some kingmakers and some club cards, but obviously we do want to uh, have the better club cards and do you want to have the hole in one as well all right bottom of the yellow ring where the fringe meets the fairway ball guy lie towards the hole and then we're applying spins doing your prox four back spin here part when it's like an in-betweener so make that adjustment we're gonna center the ball to it perfect And uh, there we go, and you will see the ball land once again on the fringe, up towards the pin, and, and now we're just being extremely unlucky, having that 360 around the hole. Sorry we did not win a prize, no, that's a big middle finger right up in our face, uh, but now it's time to uh, deliver, now it's time to get ourselves the hole in one. So, wind left to right. Applying spins according to the guide. <coughs> Make that adjustment. 3.6 miles per hour, 2.4 rings. So pull over the bullseye. 
Kan vi center ball. Hit perfect. We do hit perfect. On the fringe up towards the pin. And this time we're dropping hard right. No 360 out though. And it doesn't really matter of course how it drops. Just that it drops. Let's see what we do get in the Onyx Jets. Let's see if we can get a good epic here. We have the Saturn. And then apparently I fall asleep. Firefly. Uh, we do have Sniper. And then we do have the Kingmaker as well. Firefly is not a bad wedge. Um, uh, but obviously we're looking for it. <coughs> and the Endbringer of course. Bottom of the yellow ring where the fringe meets the fairway ball guideline to hold. We have a direct cross spin left to right. So we're going to find the aim and then we're going to apply the spins. So we're applying the spins. 3.8 back spin and 0 0.4 left spin. 3.8 uh, miles per hour is 2.5 rings. So we make the adjustment. I'm going to center the ball and it's perfect. Perfect ball it is. Bounces on the fringe, up towards the pin. And this time dropping hard right again. Seems like we are very light on our pull for sure, but we're getting the hole in one. Let's see what we do get in our Onyx chest here. Viper Apache, Sniper, Amazon. And some kingmakers. Let's have a look at the text guide. Here we do have it. Shot structure is always before you add spin. Yellow ring where French meets fairway. Ball guide to point directly to hole. Scan the QR code and use our free seven day trial for all our tournament packages, excluding tour play. Direct tailwind, four backspin only. Left to right crosswind and tailwind, four backspin, 0 0.2 left. Right to left, the tailwind crosswind, four backspin only as well. A direct crosswind left to right, 3.8 back, 0 0.4 left. Direct crosswind right to left, 3.8 back, 0 0.2 right. Left to right cross and headwind, 3.5 back, 0 0.2 left. And crosswind headwind right to left, 3.5 back, and then direct headwind 3 back, 0 0.1. Left spin, VPR table on right hand side. You can find this text guide on goldclashtommy.com, your home for free content. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. This guide for the golden shot medium. Let me know in the comment section below what you uh, what you got. And also hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the content. Thank you once again. And I wish you the best of luck in your golf clash game.